In our previous video, the focus was on the Russian railways, one of the largest and most complex railway systems in the world. This time we are staying in Russia but focusing on its capital Moscow. Here one of the most ambitious urban railway projects in Europe has been taking shape in recent years. The Moscow Central Diameters or simply MCD. Before we dive in, a quick reminder, like this video, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can support the channel on Patreon, become a YouTube member for exclusive perks or check out our merch store for some really interesting railway themed items. And for those wanting more, our ebook is available. Plus, anyone who buys the first volume will get a discount on the upcoming second part. Now, let's return to our main topic. Moscow is a city of over 13 million people and home to one of the busiest metro systems in the world. Despite its impressive scale and extensive coverage, the city struggled for decades with severe congestion, both on the metro and on the roads. At the same time, suburban railway lines were carrying millions of commuters daily, yet their role within the overall public transport network remained fairly limited. The opening of the Moscow Central Circle in 2016 marked a major step toward improving urban connectivity. Spanning 54 kilometers with 31 stations, the line offers trains running at speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour and is powered by a 3 kV direct current overhead electrification system. More importantly, the MCC created a circular route around the city making transfers between suburban rail lines and the metro far more efficient. Building on this idea, the MCD were later developed to connect suburban lines in a more direct through running fashion. This transformed them into a system much closer to the RER in Paris or the S-Bahn networks in Berlin, Munich and Vienna. We've already explored these systems on our channel so be sure to check out those videos as well. The idea of connecting Moscow's suburban railways into through running lines dates back to the early 20th century, when engineer Alexander Schmidt first proposed such a project. His vision, however, was soon overshadowed by the city's focus on developing trams and the metro. In the 1930s, engineer Nikolai Chugaikin revived the concept, proposing deep-level trains that would serve both the city and its suburbs. His plans even included integrated hubs and unified fare systems, but the project was abandoned and Chugaikin himself tragically perished during the repressions of 1938. The idea resurfaced in Moscow's 1971 general plan, which envisioned diametrical rail connections. In practice, this was only partially realized through the Alexeyevskaya connecting line, while broader implementation was postponed for decades due to technical and organizational challenges. Finally, with new master plans in the 2000s and 2010s, the concept was revived in a modernized form. This effort culminated in the launch of the MCD in 2019 a system that continues to expand with new infrastructure and public initiatives aimed at improving comfort, efficiency and connectivity. The modern version of the MCD project began taking shape in 2017, when Moscow authorities, Russian Railways and the Ministry of Transport jointly announced plans to create new through-running railway routes. Later that year, the idea was officially presented to President Vladimir Putin by Mayor Sergei Sobyanin and Russian Railways President Oleg Belozerov, and it was declared a national priority for the Moscow Transport Hub. By the end of 2017, a formal schedule for the project's first stage was signed, paving the way for the launch of five diametrical routes linking 10 of the 11 destinations of the Moscow Railway Hub, with Kazan being the only exception. The first two lines opened in November 2019, followed by two more in 2023, while design work on the fifth route is still underway. According to city officials, the total cost of building the Moscow central diameters is about 600 billion rubles, which is approximately 6 billion US dollars. In total, 63 stations were built or renovated, 
including major hubs such as Zelenograd Kriukovo, Moscow City, and Three Station Square. Extensive infrastructure work was carried out. Dozens of kilometers of track subgrades were prepared, bridges, overpasses, and flyovers were constructed, the catenary network was expanded, and new traction substations were installed. To ensure traffic safety and reliability, digital train traffic control systems of domestic design and manufacture were implemented at 24 stations. The total length of these lines is approximately 303 kilometers, and they collectively feature 137 stations. The system operates on the standard Russian gauge of 1520 mm and is fully electrified using a 3 kV direct current overhead power supply system. The network is designed to handle high capacity commuter traffic with modern signaling systems, including the modern Russian KLUB automatic train control system and frequent train intervals. Platforms are adapted for level boarding to ensure fast and safe passenger exchange. Rolling stock on the network includes Evolga trains in versions 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0, EP2D and EP2DM electric multiple units, as well as Lestoshka and Double Decker AeroExpress Stadler trains. The MCD-1 route, also known as the belorusko savilovsky diameter, connects Odintsovo and Lobnia over a distance of 52 kilometers. The line features 25 stops, including 8 transfer points to the metro, the MCC and other railway lines, with plans to add 3 more stops and transfers in the future. Service on the line began on November 21, 2019, and as of now it operates with 77 train sets, including 9 Evolga 2.0 units, 9 double-decker Aeroexpress trains, and 59 conventional EP2D trains. Trains run in a clock interval of about 30 minutes, with 40 pairs traveling the full route daily. The travel time is 1 hour 28 minutes. The stop for transfers or locomotive crew changes is 10 minutes at Odintsovo station and 25 minutes at Lobnia station. Including these terminal stops, a full round trip takes 3 hours 30 minutes with 7 trains operating simultaneously along the entire route. On weekends some trains are temporarily cancelled, which can extend intervals between direct services. Additionally, the route is complemented by Aeroexpress trains on shared sections, ensuring frequent and coordinated service for commuters. The MCD-2 route, also known as the kursk rizki diameter, runs between Nakabino and Podolsk over a distance of 80 km, with a journey time of around 2 hours. The line currently has 37 stations, including 12 transfer points to the Metro MCC or other railway lines. The route officially opened on November 21, 2019 and is served by 87 trains, including 6 Evolga 2.0 units, 24 Ivolga 1.0 trains and 57 EP2D trains. Trains operate at 12 minute intervals with 100 pairs of electric trains running daily. Travel times include turnaround stops of 9 minutes at Nakabino and 13 minutes at Podolsk, allowing a full circuit to be completed in 4 hours 24 minutes, with 22 trains operating simultaneously. Weekend service reductions occasionally increase intervals between direct trains. The MCD-3 route, opened on the 17th of August 2023, runs from Zelenograd to Ipodrom and is part of the leningradsko kazansky diameter. It is 85 km long and the journey takes about 1 hour and 40 minutes. The line has 39 stations, of which 12 offer transfers to the metro, the Moscow Central Circle and other railway lines. A total of 52 trains operate on the route, with intervals of 10 minutes during peak hours and a minimum of 5 minutes when other services are considered. The fleet serving this line includes 13 Ivolga 4.0 trains, 19 Ivolga 3.0 trains, 39 Lastochka trains 
and 51 EP2 D trains, providing frequent and reliable service along the corridor. The MCD4 route, also known as the Kalursko Nizhny Novgorod diameter, was inaugurated on September 9, 2023. Stretching 86 kilometers, it is the longest of all diameters and currently includes 36 stations. Out of the existing stations, 15 provide transfer connections to the Metro, MCC or other railway lines. The full travel time along the line is about 2 hours and 17 minutes, while during peak hours trains run at short intervals of 5 to 7 minutes. The line is operated by a fleet of 112 trains, including 30 Volga 4.0 units and 82 EP2D and EP2DM series trains. Interestingly, at the time of opening MCD4 was the only diameter not served by Volga trains, relying instead on EP2D and EP2DM stock. Passenger demand has been strong from the start, with around 2 million trips recorded in the first 10 days and an average daily ridership of over 220,000. However, the first months of operation were marked by technical problems, delays and overcrowding, particularly during the winter period, which drew significant public attention and criticism. The MCD5 route, also known as the yaroslavsko pavelecki diameter, will tentatively run from Pushkino to Domodedovo, following the Yaroslavskoye and Pavelecki directions of the Moscow Railway. However, pre-designed work is still ongoing and the exact location of the route between Moscow 3 and Derbenevskaya has not yet been determined. In 2024, the MCD transported over 400 million passengers across all four lines with an average daily ridership of just under 1.1 million and a record daily figure of around 1.5 million. This highlights the MCD's role as a key part of Moscow urban transport, providing an efficient way to commute between the suburbs and the city center while helping to ease congestion on the metro. Travel on the MCD is organized across three fare zones, central, suburban and long distance. The central zone covers Moscow, with metro-level fares and free transfers to the metro and MCC via a Troika card. The suburban zone applies to trips between Moscow and nearby regional stations, while the long-distance zone covers travel from stations outside MCD boundaries. Since 2024, commuter season tickets can be combined with unlimited MCD passes for seamless travel. Moscow offers face pay, letting passengers link a selfie, bank card and Troika card via the Metro app, cameras at gates match encrypted biometric data to authorize access. By April 2024, over 100 million rides had been completed using face pay, with around 1,500 turnstiles in service and more being added station by station. We've come to the end of the video. As you can see, in just a few years, the Moscow Central diameters have reshaped the way millions of people move across the capital and its vast suburbs, combining the speed of railways with the convenience of the metro. With further expansions planned, the system is set up to become an even more vital part of everyday life in Moscow. Of course, the development of the MCD system has not been without challenges including economic pressures and the changing geopolitical situation, and we will continue to keep an eye on how these developments progress. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about urban rail systems around the world, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Railways Explained. And if you'd like to support our work directly, consider checking out our ebook linked below.